My Black is Beautiful. You guys are getting an exclusive look at his new single. So stay tuned right here to Looney Tunes. Go ahead, MJ. Remember, you are a goddess. <laughs> it's his loss anyways. He's your ex for a reason. That's why he's by the exit sign. Once a dog, he's always gonna sniff. Man wanna cheat on his pretty little queen. He never knew what he had with you. Never. No wonder you keep giving me these fucking dogs because you're a fucking dog. dog. <laughs> What don't come out in the wash comes out in the rinse. And what don't come out in the rinse will show up when it's dry. <laughs> Ladies, I'll be fine. I got this. Yo, what are you doing? Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. No. Hi! I didn't recognize you. You look so different in person. Oh yeah? Yeah, you look much bigger in pictures. Oh my god, yo, somebody better help this little girl talking about you look bigger in pictures. Yo, what's up? Please don't go off. Please don't go off. Please go off. Let's get ready to rumble! And it 
is my pleasure to introduce to you one of my really good friends. He is a recording artist, and his name is TJ Harper. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, I appreciate it. Thank you. For sure. Now, we're going to dive into the episode, and we'll find out, you know, what was going on in that episode, No Expectation. But before we do that, I want the audience to know a little bit about you and who you are as an artist, as a man, all that good stuff. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Well, first off, thank you so much for having me. For I really sure. appreciate you. She's doing an amazing thing and is an amazing person. Thank you. Uh, well, my name is TJ Harper. <laughs> I'm from the south side of Chicago, born and raised. I am a recording artist, a performing artist, a writer, a singer, and an actor. Do a little screenwriting, too. Um, I've been in music for about... Almost 20 years now. Um, 20? Yeah. Okay, it's, CJ. It's, you know, it's listen. been about that long, and I've been acting <laughs> for about 15 years. Okay. So uh, they're kind of like, you know, go hand in hand. I feel like you can't have one without having the other. Like mm-hmm. everybody that does videos are kind of like acting. Yeah. So, yes, um, those are what I love to do. Um, a father, got to put that out there. Yes. Father, twins, boy and a girl. Thanks to Peyton, daddy love you. Yeah. Just got to let it be known. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm here to bless your platform. Oh, man. And we're so blessed to have you Thank again. You. So Thank I'm you. so gracious. Um, so we were talking about, you know, you as an artist. So the music that you put out, you being like, you know, from the south side of Chicago. Um, yeah, I know. We're both from the south side of Chicago. So what is it about your music um, that we could say maybe differentiates you from like the traditional south side Chicago artist? I appreciate it. Thank you for yes. asking me that. Uh, what different, differentiates me from other artists is I think I have a, a positive perspective on where I come from versus the negative, mm-hmm. you know, kind of, you know, image that's being being spread amongst us. Like, uh, I don't feed into, you know, some of the negative stereotypes mm-hmm. that they say Chicago artists are, the mm-hmm. drill, the trap. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's a reality because that is, you know, where I come from. But for me personally, it's, it's about being introspective. You know, it's like yeah. you have your good, you have your bad. Um, and you got to be able to, you know, just be transparent with your people, with your fans, with your music, and with yourself. So yes. for me, it's more of a, a transparent, introspective approach where I just be like, yo, this is what I'm going through. Some days I'm in love. Some days I'm not in love. <laughs> you know, some days I hate the world. Some days I don't. Yes. You know, some days I want to party. Yeah. Some days I want to travel, you know. Yeah. So music for me is is is, is a personal uh, love relationship. It's just one of those things where it's, I'm just going to give it my best self the way I'm, you know, giving life my best self. Yeah, that's so beautiful. And, you know, TJ and I have these conversations and, you know, TJ all will spit all the time. <laughs> and he'll send me or we send each other like really positive quotes and, and um, you know, little affirmations and things. Mm-hmm. Because the world that we live in today, you know, can be so crazy and cruel. Mm-hmm. And when you can have a platonic friend that's of the opposite sex, you know what I'm saying? That is just really here to give you like positive energy. I can't even, you know, thank you enough for that. No problem. <laughs> it, it definitely does exist, you know. Yeah, it and, does. Uh, I think that's one of the, the things that, that we experience, the pressure with like relationships. Mm-hmm. Is it really platonic? Yes. Is the person really a friend? Are they are who they say they mm-hmm. are? And it's like for me, I've had many women who are friends like strictly platonic yeah. and Man, it, and didn't want anything from me in return. So uh, I think it does exist, but I think there's, I don't know, there's so many insecurities. <laughs> it people. can be, yes. But that's one thing I love about you is that, you know, look, TJ never came at me like that. It's strictly never. like a platonic relationship, never. and I'm so grateful for that because I've had platonic relationships with guys. And even in this it's episode, awesome. yeah, it's like the episode that we're, you know, we mm-hmm. just watched, this clip that we watched, um, it started off as a platonic relationship and right. ended off into like a romantic relationship. So I'm so grateful when you can have real and raw relationships mm-hmm. like that don't require anything. And also you can build. Yes. You know, build, grow, um, yes. nurture each other. Like I think that's what's missing from relationships. Mm-hmm. And even some of the some of the engagements, some marriages, situationship, entanglements. <laughs> some of the things, that, of that, you know, some of the things that are missing <laughs> is people nurturing each yes, other. Yes, yes. Yeah, so, and yeah. you know, we talk about a lot of things in relationships. I was gonna say that another, another <laughs> yeah. time. It's gonna be another, another episode. Topic. And you guys are gonna see more of right. TJ on this show. But right. we T- TJ and I have so many conversations about 
about like mm-hmm. relationships and other things, but yeah, we'll talk about that mm-hmm. another time. All right, so we'll dive into this episode. So okay. we talked about, you know, in this clip, um, I ran into my ex-boyfriend and his new uh, his new girlfriend. I don't know if they're still together or not, but at that time, it was his girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> so um, the situation was kind of odd and awkward, and it was a real situation. Like, right. literally, I walked um, out of this concert and saw them standing at the door and you know so it was like an awkward hey you know and i kind of didn't know what to do and i I I do i do i speak right have you ever been like in a situation like that where you ran into your ex or your ex ran into like or you saw somebody with their new boo and has that ever happened to you i've i've had a situation like that i think it was last year before the pandemic pandemic started i went to go see l Werner. Uh, mm. She was at the city winery, and I seen someone that I was really. <laughs> so you was at a concert we had a too. Real, we, <laughs> once by the time we heard, had a real entanglement, right? Okay. So now I'm choking. It. <laughs> Just situation. So, but we really, really liked each other. I remember mm-hmm. being in that space, right? Um, and I think, you know, sometimes we can't get what we desire from yeah. people sometimes. And then it's just, it's mutual. Mm-hmm. Okay, you go your way, I go my way. <laughs> you know, we respect each other. So yes. when I seen her, I was like, and in my mind, I was like, that guy? Wait, was she, right, he was with somebody? <laughs> she, she was, she's married. She's oh, she's married, married. okay. So I was like, oh, that's, that's, that's who you married. That's, oh, that's you? Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, nice. I mean, they each his own. You know? Right. And I can say, <laughs> That's like, not me. Right. You know, but, like, good, and I think, <laughs> good luck. you know, I think that, you know, we personally have to stop doing that. I think that the person... Um, that the next person is going to be interested in is going to look like us. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the beauty of not being with that person anymore. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to see what they're into. Yeah. But you know, I was just thinking about that. I was just thinking about that the other day. I was like, I'm. I've always been kind of scared of women who don't have a type. Because mm-hmm. I'm like, <laughs> you just be with anybody. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> so All you that just with any old body. Right. Like, why you do that? But go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's perfect. Well, you know, and the good, the crazy thing is, like his girlfriend, she's beautiful. She was a really pretty girl. Okay. Yeah, and it wasn't like an intimidation thing. It was for me. I think it was just more awkward than anything, mm-hmm. you know. And I think that was like really the only time that I've ran into like okay. an ex with their current, you know, girlfriend or whatever. Mm-hmm. And um, I don't think anybody's ever seen me out with like, you know, right. my exes have ever seen me. Um, but yeah, it can be kind of awkward. <laughs> so is that one time and. I guess I would say it depends on how the relationship ended, yes, right? Yeah. That, that would make it awkward, right? Now, if you guys were just with each other three weeks ago, yeah. that's hella awkward, right? right? Yeah, exactly. Like, I know. It's no, like, it was years for awkward. us. You yeah. didn't tell me about her. You ain't tell me about him. <laughs> and sometimes that, th- that can sting so bad. But literally, in that instance, when I saw them, um, the line that she said, like, this is a real story, guys. So, like, mm-hmm. everything that's in this clip really happened. So what she said to me, I just chuckled. I just laughed it off and just like, whatever. And then when I met up with my girlfriends later, they were like, what, you didn't beat her, you know, this, that, the other. And I'm like, no, it wasn't even all, it wasn't even worth it. To me, it was funny, you know? Right. Yeah, so anyway, um, moving on. <laughs> you, don't, you don't come across as a confrontational person anyway, so no. why would you need to get confrontational if somebody Hello. says something? Because no. you'll turn that into, it's like somebody says something negative. You'd be like, what? <laughs> And literally that's why I laugh because mm-hmm. you know I just don't have time for that kind of you know yeah, craziness. Yes. Yeah. So I see you have your onk on TJ, you know. Um 100%. yeah, so you're gonna be performing your song on the show. My black is beautiful. Yeah, yes. so tell us about that song, the lyrics and all of that. My black is beautiful was just inspired out of my love for us, mm-hmm. you know, for uh, everything that we've been through, we endured the adversity, um, to the wonderment of just who we are, how we turn struggle into a beautiful thing, yes. you know, at, le- at least for some of us. I know not all of our experiences are the same, but for most of us in America, we have pretty much experienced, whether it be third, fourth, fifth generation, we have experienced some of the same things. So for me, I just wanted to tell what I felt like was beautiful. So I start mm-hmm. initially 
the beauty of my lady, mm -hmm. right? And then the beauty of black boys and black girls, yeah. and then the beauty of us as a race. But then you were talking about Kelly Rowland, so <laughs> listen. Wait, oh man, I, oh, I used to love Kelly okay, Rowland okay. until she just got pregnant recently, and I'm, I'm over her, you know. But congratulations, was it the baby? It was her it second pregnancy. Was the baby. But right? it was, you know, what's so crazy? So look, I'm not. I'm not like following her, right? Uh -huh. Oh, did but, you break up with her? No, after? no, no, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay. So I know years ago she experienced something with the first husband where mm -hmm. he was abusive, right? Oh, okay. So I was like, man, I would have just I would have treated you right. Yeah, you're you know, black is beautiful, me. Kelly. It's definitely you know beautiful. What I'm saying? But I like Kelly. I met Kelly when I was a kid. I was like 13 years okay. old. Uh her and Beyonce and Michelle. But uh, I've always liked Kelly, just okay. Beyonce too. But I was like, yo, I was like, it's it's my window of opportunity. She's not with anyone. And then when I see the pregnancy, I was like, that, that blind side of me, I was like, I was crushed. I'm not Kelly. I know we're not together, but in my mind, we were. I mean, you know? I got boyfriends in my head too. Right, right. So know? I was like, Kelly, like, how could you do this to me? And friends are like sending me. Photos I was because they know how much mm -hmm. she was on my vision board. Oh, now see, okay. she was on my vision board. Really? Yeah. So and then you friends wait. knew. Okay. And they sending me like I was like, stop sending me stuff. Like I that. Hate, okay, let's talk about that because I hate when people do that to me, like mm -hmm. celebrity crushes or celebrity Michael B. That Jordan. I, well, I don't care. Not, okay. not Michael B. But I had I was dating somebody okay. who happened to be like you know in the industry, okay. and then he got married to somebody else that was in the industry okay. and people would send me the photos of him and wow. his wife and i'm like why right. would you do that like right. who cares like you know what i'm saying like it's people like just don't care i think it's it's important to know <laughs> kelly i want you to be happy i want to see you happy but I don't want to see it. Like, <laughs> like I want you to be happy, but I don't, don't want to see that. Like, I, like, go be happy. Yeah, but okay. everybody that shared it with me, my close friends, I was like, y'all know I'm mad right yeah, now. Like, I'm, like, big, I'm big man. Like, don't do that. Like, that's that hurt. That really did Oh, hurt. my God. I can, I, I've been there, so I feel your pain. Mm. Yes. But I'm wishing you a successful pregnancy, marriage, and all of that stuff. <laughs> I love I'm it. Just love you from just a wishing distance. you well. I just love you from a distance. That's beautiful. See, your black is beautiful, Kelly. Black, you know all of our black, is, all of our black is beautiful. Our black, our brown, mm -hmm. all of the many 32 flavors of brown. <laughs> it's all popping. That's what's up. All right, so we are going to take a little break right now. And when we come back, TJ is going to perform his beautiful song, mm -hmm. My Black is Beautiful. And, you know, we'll... we'll be right back. So stay tuned for Louis Tunes. We'll be right back. My black is beautiful. Love is a drug. No pharmaceutical. My lady look good. My lady look good from her head to her cuticles. Baby so beautiful. The love is reciprocal, no, it ain't typical She is the thought that inspires my lyrical genius Inside of my pineal gland I throw that fire like me to your man Homie, your hater is my man, teach you a fan Big fan, big fan They wanna pop it on a handstand But I don't fuck with groupie or fans I'm lying, yeah, she Kelly rolling, gotta go Tell my baby mama, adios Hop in that ghost and I'm out of Y'all wanna rain out of Audi Mama, daddy, shout him proudly That my son, that my son He the one, he the one Beat the case and it's done They don't make it where I'm from Just to see what I become From the ghetto, from the slums Hundred shots from the drum Bro, no, they ain't can't, but they got these sticks. I'm in my bed, let's sex fit. Ballin' the number one trap pain. In Japan with the chopsticks. Can I kick it like Sensei? Yup, my sweet brother Noon say. Go to jail, go to jail, go to jail. Black boy, black girl. You the reason that I smile, yeah, yeah. My black is beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My black is beautiful. Yeah, 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 yeah. My black is beautiful. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, back to Kelly rolling. Girl, your melanin is golden. Black people, yeah, we chosen. White people, yeah, they know Traveled the world and scoured the ocean. We ain't laying on Plymouth Rock. We was here when they hit the docks. They gon' lie and say we stolen. All facts, no emotions. Young, black, and unapologetic. No time to be sympathetic. Yeah, I rap and I'm athletic. Forget your feelings, homie, yeah, I said it. How life, no anesthetic. You don't need makeup for your aesthetics. No need to edit with God perfected. Quit the lies and the rhetoric. Code switching with your etiquette. Give them an inch, they robbing the house. Like when Mike was in Connecticut. 
How to ignore the elephant? I see the racism, I see the prejudice. I see the federal bureau suppressing the evidence. Black Messiah, yeah, it's evident. Turn on the lights, Edison. Sun shining on your melanin. Yeah, the sun is your medicine. I'm in my zone, my element. This is growth and development. Shout out to my black therapist. Told me every day I live. I'm celebrating black excellence. Yeah, my black is beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My black is beautiful. Yeah, 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 yeah. My black is beautiful. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, scream it loud, scream it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. Scream it loud, scream it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. Scream it loud, scream it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. TJ Harper, that's TJAY Harper, that's Instagram, that's Facebook, that's Twitter, that's YouTube, that's Apple Music, Google, everything that you can think of. TJ Harper, TJAY Harper. Man, thank you so much. Thank that was so me. dope for sure. All right, so you guys have been tuned in to Looney Tunes. You have an exclusive song, Black is Beautiful, My Black is Beautiful by TJ Harper. Man, you guys stay tuned for the next episode, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.